Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Um, don't mind the sheep, it's hot, I just fed them. I was sweating like crazy, of course, so uh, it is what it is, but anyhow. So, don't mind the sheep, they live next door, they buy a lot, it is what it is. Like I said, not editing it out, you'll probably even hear the mascot. Uh, one of these days I gotta let her come back out and get another video, but anyhow. So what I wanted to come up and, and set up here, and, I, and I'm stooping down because I'm trying to actually film long ways with the phone up on the workbench. As you can tell, different angle and stuff. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm still trying to find my rhythm and my shooting style and things of that nature. Just new guy stuff, but yeah, this is going to be like my fifth video. So yeah, it is what it is, but I'm out here trying. So. Remember, we, uh, we picked up the Icon Ratchet Wrench set a while back, and uh, I've, I got a chance to uh, use it a little bit, and what I wanted to do today was actually uh, compare it to my Bluepoint 10 millimeter that I have, as well as my Cobalt that I've been having for a while. So try to make this short, sweet, to the point. Um, number one, what I, what I like um, about both of these, and I think I like more in the Icon versus the Blue Point, which is here on the you know my right, um, the low the profile of the selector. So you can barely see either one, but you can really see that that selector sticking up here versus here. With the uh, with the icon, so I really enjoy that. And uh, actually, the snap on one sticks up even more than both of these. Um, quite a bit longer. Quite a bit. So, uh, not not really a bad thing. Not really a good thing. Uh, it kind of all has its place. I'd rather have a little bit longer of a wrench than a shorter wrench. Sometimes uh, when we come talking about profile here. Uh, back up a little bit so the blue points a little thinner than the the icon which if you're doing heavy heavy professional mechanic work a lot of times that matters i have thick wrenches thin wrenches mid-sized wrenches um and, and all of the you know all that stuff because sometimes it's just it is what it is you know you, you've got to have a thin wrench or what have you or you gotta have a thick wrench to take a beating on or take a prying on what have you so Bang for the buck wise, um, this was $35, $36. Blue Point, made in Taiwan. Um, B O E R M 10. It's part number on it for Blue Point. Anybody interested in it? As you can tell, the biggest thing about it is the girth. You know, here, it's a, it's a bulky, it's a bulky gal. She, uh, you're not getting up real close to something to get a fastener on here versus um, this 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 fella right here. You can you can really get in there. Other than that, that's really the only downside I see to it. As you can hear, if you can hear that, the blue point finer tooth, a little bit finer tooth. Not even in the frame here. I'm just, all you guys see is nose and mouth. You, hate this video <laughs> anyhow or hate this channel because i don't do anything with these videos but uh so i'll give that advantage to the blue point you have that finer uh, finer ratcheting uh, ability it makes it nice but then again you know you have the little extra length from the icon both of them are smooth in side there's no slip no grip grip teeth um that's that's not a make or break in all honesty so all in all, the, the 15 degree offset, I mean, the, the, the offset and the heads, it's it's identical. 15 degrees is 15 degrees. That's going to be common across all manufacturers. What I do like about the Blue Point as well is back here, um, there's a snap ring that you can pop out and they can service this on the truck and fix it. Whereas with the Icon, it's non-serviceable. So when it breaks, you got to go in, drop it off, get another one. Yeah, yeah, not a big deal. It is what it is. I mean, you wait a week for the truck to come, depending on when you break it, or yeah, take a trip to town and go to the Harbor Freight, which they just opened one in the next city over. So, yeah, 20 minute drive. My wife actually works in that city. So, 
Peg can give her with what I need and, and she takes care of it. So now talking about the cobalt, of course, um, it's a straight. I don't have a 15 degree on this. I bought this. Hmm, good night. Probably getting on 10 years ago now. Um, thicker, kind of similar to the to the uh, blue point. Definitely thicker here than, than any of the other ones, girth-wise. You know, you can say not by much, but it is. Of course, clean on the inside, no non-slip, so it's comparable to this. This is about the same length as the blue point. Close, close enough. It is non-reversible, and that's one thing I kind of got away from using with these. It's either reverse or forward. You have to flip it. This has been worn quite a bit, used quite a bit, so it, it, it slips a little bit. Um, but it's got 10 years of service on it, which is pretty good. Cobalt isn't actually a bad brand. I kind of rate that with Icon, where you you might want to start moving up. Um, Icon, I mean, Cobalt. Cobalt actually has some pretty decent stuff, or they did, you know, when I was buying it, when I was starting out in the trades. Back, you know, 12 years ago or so, when I, when I first got out of school and, and began to the different trades that I've worked. I've always been on tools. I've always enjoyed tools. Um, it's it's kind of why I'm here with this hobby. People that I know personally get tired of listening to me talk about tools. So now I'm gonna ramble on to you people about it. You're welcome. <laughs> so anyhow, um, not much to talk about in this cobalt. The chrome's held up well. Um, it ratchets fairly smooth. Like I said, the only downside is you, you have to switch it over it's non-reversing quote unquote what they call i do have several of these in different sizes and what i like about them is a uh, long all thread rods where you're adjusting a uh, chain or belt tensioners on certain machines uh, heavy equipment machines or if you're in the electrical trade like i was when i got these to do uh run up bolts on all thread for unistrut hangers you know you run two all threads down and you, and you put a unistrut across it and then you can adjust that unit shred up with, with, with these, you know, you run it all the way through the all thread, catch the nut and you can work it up and down to put the uh, fiberglass, uh, my, wow, you can see the sweat dripping out of my beard. I'm sorry people, but um, that way you can, uh, you can lay the uh, cable trays, fiberglass cable trays or aluminum cable tray on it from ceilings. So that's just a quick review. Um, of the Cobalt Icon and Blue Point 10 millimeter ratcheting wrenches that I have at my disposal. We put three of them up against each other. Talk about them a little bit. Anybody interested in them, I think um, all three brands are worth buying, of course, and they're they're really honestly at three different levels. I say two different levels. In the Icon, Cobalt's kind of on the same level, and then the Blue Point um, is up there. I actually, I really only bought this Blue Point. Um, this made in Taiwan, obviously. You know, all three of these are made in Taiwan. So, why would I pay anywhere ranging from probably uh, $17 to $35 on the Blue Point to, God, I probably only gave like 11 at the time, 10 for the Cobalt one years ago. Um, they're all made in Taiwan. So, I kind of had a hard time swallowing that pill when I brought the Blue Point but I got the blue point that day because the truck was there and I needed it because I was inside of a console of, of a tractor trying to get the project out. And the guy that I used, used to borrow ratchet wrenches from, um, him and I worked together in the, in the shop with the shop guys, excuse me, it's hot. Um, his are only straight and I needed something with the 15 degree offset to get, to get back there and be reversible. And I bought it. That's what he had. He didn't have the snap-on version um, because typically on most of these, the blue point to snap-on, there's honestly six to $10 difference a lot of times on these ratchet wrenches that I found. And uh, I'll pay the extra 10 bucks and get one made in the States with a little better quality metal and chrome finish, in my opinion. Keep keep local people working. Um, that's part of it. It's just something I like, but I'm not going to turn my nose up at anything else. So... So I got that. Uh, just a quick, quick video to cover all of that. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something from it. Thanks.